Hi, and welcome to our latest episode of Carpool Radio Keep. We're so lucky today oh, to have the patron of reading for Leicester and really author good. Steve. It's lovely. Steve Skidmore. Steve, what are you doing? I'm eating custard. What, why are you eating custard? We're filming. Yeah, but it's it's my new book. It's called Killer Custard. All right, all right. Let's have a look. All right, I'll show you. I'll show you. In fact, I've got it on my iPad, the cover, because it's so popular. It's sold out at the moment. There it is. Look, wow. Killer Custard. Wow. It's all about a dinner lady who arrives at school, and instead of making custard that the kids eat, she makes custard that eats the kids. And the teachers, and the teachers, and Ooh. the teachers. So, do you fancy do you fancy this? The, the problem is, if you get this wrong, you will be turned into a custard monster. And I've got <coughs> the custard. Oh, I'm not going to get this wrong. I'll be all right. Throw, if you get it wrong, <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, yeah. one pound nine. Very expensive. <laughs> okay, so killer custard. This has been voted in the shortlist for the best book in Leicester. Wow. Kids love it. It's great. I love this book. So it's lunchtime at your school. You are queuing up and see there's a new cook behind the counter. What's for pudding, you ask? Apple pie, the cook replies. What do you want with it? Ice cream or my special custard? Now, what do you want? Ice cream or custard? Wow, it's custard story. Let's go with a special custard. So you're going to choose a book that's called Killer Custard. You're going to choose the custard. Yeah, I think so. I'm just going to get this ready. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're choosing the special custard. Right, so on the iPad, you, you can flick the pages, but because uh, I've not got the book in there, but obviously you turn the pages there. All right, I'll have the custard. All right, I'll have the custard. What's special about it? What's special about oh, it? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Laughs the dinner lady. As she drops the custard onto your dish, you think you hear the custard growl. You're getting worried, Mr. Pat. A little bit worried, mm. yeah. Telling yourself not to be so stupid. Don't be so stupid. You head towards a table where your friend Sam is sitting. As you place your tray on the table, you hear the growling noise again. <sighs> Two choices. Investigate the noise or ignore it. If I investigate it, something's going to get me in it, so I might, I'm, I might ignore it, I'm just going to ignore it. Oh, okay, you're going to ignore it, all right. So you ignore it, we now go back to 21 because you're ignoring the noise. Have you noticed anything strange about the custard? You ask. Oh, have, Sorry. You, <laughs> have you noticed anything strange about the custard? Oh, it's not lumpy for a change, said Sam. It looks like the new cook can cook. At that moment, there's a crash and a cheer goes up from the other students. You turn around and see a smashed dish and an apple pie and custard on the floor. A girl stands over it looking shocked. Two choices. Do you want to cheer with the other students or do you think you should just get on and eat your dinner? Uh, I'm going to... I don't like cheering, so I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to get on eating. You're going dinner. to eat your dinner. That's probably a good idea. As you turn back to eat your dinner, you hear a girl say to the teacher, "The custard winked at me." You laugh. What a crazy excuse, eh, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a crazy excuse, Sam. There's no reply. <gasps> you look up and see Sam has disappeared. You glance around, puzzled. His dinner tray is still there, but there's a large pool of custard on the table. Suddenly, burp. you're amazed. You can't believe your ears. Did the custard just burp? Two choices. Get out of the dining room or investigate the custard. I think I'm going to investigate the custard. Investigate, that's a good idea. You're going to investigate the custard. You stare at the custard and gasp in horror. <gasps> A pair of eyes suddenly appears from within the yellow liquid. The custard winks at you. <laughs> you nearly wet yourself. No, don't do that, Mr. <laughs> oh, okay. Pace. Don't do that. <laughs> Before you can move, the custard leaps up and attaches itself to your arm. <laughs> oh, no. What's going to happen next? Oh, my goodness, Mr. Page. The custard shoots up your arm and smothers your face. <laughs> oh, no. You've been turned into... A custard monster.